Hey, what's going on guys? Destra here from Destramonies.com and in today's video I wanted to talk to you about three simple steps that you can do in order for you to build your business online. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to focus daily on building and expanding your network. Now the reason behind this is because you want to be able to grow an audience that knows, likes, and trusts you because the people that know, like, and trust you will be open to doing business with you. And when you grow your audience through social media, whether that be through Facebook, through Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, whatever platform you decide to build your audience in, then if you focus on building quality connections with them, then eventually they're going to, to purchase your products or services depending on whether or not what you offer can help them to solve their problems. So if you focus on just connecting with a solid five people a day, 10 people a day, or even 15 people a day, or 20 people a day if you're ambitious, over the course of a month, let's say on the low end, you connect with only five people a day, then you'll be talking to 150 people per month. You talk to uh, 10 people a day, that's 300 people a month. And you talk to 15, then that goes up to 450 people a month. If you, but what I'm, when I say build and expand your network, I don't necessarily mean just adding Facebook friends, following people, or following people on Instagram or Twitter. I'm actually talking about having a genuine connection with another person. So when you, when you reach out to someone, make sure there's someone that you're actually some that there's someone that you're actually like to get to, uh, to start a, a friendship or a relationship with. Make sure that. Um, you're reaching out to them and actually getting to know them and actually having them getting to know you better. And the way you can do that is just by being yourself and just, you know, thinking about, you know, proper etiquette when you're actually, you know, out in a party. You wouldn't want to pitch someone on a at a party that you just met and just tell them, you know, you should buy my products because it's the greatest thing ever. You want to take the time to get to know them. What are their, what's their names? What's their background? What's their story? What do they like to do? What, and establish that relationship and make sure that you know you're you're getting you're actually building a connection with them, building rapport with them, and being really genuine about it. Most people online, you know, they they tend to we tend to take things at face value because you can't tell if they're a real person or they're actually being real or what their intentions are. But if you're genuinely reaching out to someone and getting to know them, they'll, chances are they'll, they'll get to know you better through your content, your videos, anything that you do. But just remember to just focus on building that relationship to expand your network every day. So number two is to create a piece of content that solves your target audience's uh, problems, frustrations, or struggles, and make sure that you promote it. So one of the biggest mistakes that I did when I first started on marketing online is I'd create pieces of content, but I would spend little to no time actually promoting it. So now with Facebook Lives or uh, other videos, you or creating blog posts, for example, I can create the content and actually promote it with within, you know, Facebook groups, I can promote it on my blog, I can promote it with ads, I can use my blog posts on social media and you know, sprinkle them throughout either Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, whatever platform you decide to use. And a great way for you to be able to build instant content and promote it is to just use Facebook Live. Facebook Live's algorithm, uh, you know, uh, it Facebook puts more priority on do, on people who do Facebook lives and it actually reaches more people if you just, you know, hop on the on your phone and actually hit the go live button and just share some value with your target audience. So, if you're struggling to promote your content, just start to do Facebook lives. Do it for, you know, challenge yourself. Try to do it do a Facebook live, for, you know, one one every day for seven days or two weeks or four weeks, whatever you decide to do and see what you, how your audience starts to grow. So number three, the third step, simple step to building your online business is to, you know, start to build your 
your newsletter list or your email list. So the people on this list are people that you have a connection with. So if you connected with someone online or on Facebook, for example, then invite them over to your Facebook, uh, to your newsletter list where you'll share more valuable content and be able to follow up with them um, from on a consistent basis. So the whole point of an email list is to just build an, a list of people who are already connected with you or who have um, the who are interested in the content or interested in the value that you have to share with them and you know 80% of the time I would say provide value to that list and then 10 to 20% of the time then promote a product service or opportunity depending on whether or not it will be um, relevant to your email list so these are the three simple steps to building your online business if you guys get value from the the content and the videos that I've been sharing with you guys Make sure you hop on my newsletter at destrimonies.com forward slash newsletter. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Talk to you soon.